everybody. It's Eat With More Love. How you guys doing today? Okay, so what I'm gonna do today, I'm doing this because I got my camera set and I don't have the thing to turn around all over the place, but I'm gonna be making some spaghetti. Um, I'm just gonna prepare some of it. I already got my stuff chopped up. I got some olives chopped here, mushroom and onion. Um, I'm gonna brown my meat. I got spaghetti. This is my pot for spaghetti. I haven't started that yet either. You might not be able to see me a lot because of the way my camera's positioned on the food, but it's me. All right. So the first thing is I'm gonna get this going. And this, I like to put on top of my spaghetti, um, tomato, green onion, and um, cheese on the top after it's all done. So I'm gonna just put this over to the side. And I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get a little And I'm going to put some inside of this pan of saute those vegetables just a little bit. I use this for saute and usually I use butter for everything, but this I'm going to do this in. Country crop. I love country crop. If I don't use real butter, I'm using this. Let's go on up real quick. And you know, spaghetti is very fast. I want to do some more of these meals that are quick and hearty, especially like for moms, single moms. It's really good, you know, fast meal to cook. Sometimes we don't even have time for that, but I'm not a single mom. But um, I know a lot of quick meals, so we gonna get it in today with some spaghetti. can so I might as well just do that while I'm waiting for that to heat up. This is my tomato sauce. Um, I don't use ragge or um, any one of those type of sauces. I pretty much just put it together on my own. This is old school stuff right here. I have used it before. But this is what I grew up on, right here. And it is good and inexpensive. You don't have to buy no spaghetti sauce. You can just get your own. Um, make up your own little sauce, season it really good. I'm gonna have to get the seasoning out too. Um, I like that. Keep all my um I keep all my um stuff that I use for my special stuff, my like my video and stuff like that, just certain seasonings and stuff I like to have for seafood and so forth keep it over here
seasoning salt. This is what I usually season this with. Pepper. Garlic. And that's about it. One. I like this one better because it has the parsley flakes in it. It's a little chunkier. All right, so that's getting on, melting up real good. And this is an expensive way too. Spaghetti's inexpensive anyway. I try to always keep a box of spaghetti in the house. Um, as long as you got some uh, tomato sauce, a little onion, I can eat spaghetti without um, meat sometimes. I love like the noodles, put some butter on them and just go in. This is what we're going to do today. You know, these things are dangerous. These lid tops, after you take them off, they're dangerous. A little slice. Okay, let me get this one last can open for this. Oh, and I'm putting diced tomatoes in there. I have to open those too. I to get it done if I do this real quick. And I'm only making a little bit of spaghetti because nobody's really here. My daughter work tonight and it's really just me and my husband and my granddaughter. And I really don't want too much leftover because we got enough leftovers. Well, my daughter probably come home and eat. She don't get off till late. But leftovers is good. She don't mind and spaghetti especially because she loves spaghetti. So. Okay, now I got all my cans open right here. I'll leave them there. I'm going to go ahead and drop these vegetables in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you can see down in the pit. See that? That's just the vegetables. I'm just gonna saute them a very little bit before I put the meat in. Let's see if we can get you. You can see it. Okay, that's a little better. Smells yummy. Just cooking the onions and mushrooms. And all of it smells good. Oh, 
I messed that up. Yes. Okay. Oh, I messed it up. Daughter getting ready to go to work up here, coming down the stairs. Okay. I just want to have one open, but it's Good. No, my keys are right there. And you can come and say hi. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, y'all. <laughs> what y'all eating today? <laughs> spaghetti. I'm hooking up some spaghetti. Love you too. Be careful. She got her own car, but she got to drive mine. I don't know what's up with that. All right. A little seasoning salt. Let me throw this out of my way real quick. This is all garlic powder. No salt in this. I love me some garlic. I should have put whole garlic, but I, this is good. I don't normally do it, so. A little pepper. Sneezing in just a minute. All right. Y'all, my daughter graduates this year. I'll be on her all the time. She graduating. And I'm like, My baby's scared growing up. Um, and she wants to go to military. So I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Believe it or not, she wants to be a police officer. I'm just praying that she stays in the office. She's like, no, I want to get out there. I want to get out there and do my thing. And I'm like, oh, gosh. Okay. I don't, I don't discourage her. I really don't. Because we need good police officers out there. And I just, but I just still hope she stays in the office. I have a cousin that's a sheriff in L.A. And that... <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. I knew I was going to be sneezing in a minute. <coughs> oh, yeah, my cousin. <coughs> oh, I got a lot. Anyway, my cousin is a police officer in Los Angeles, sheriff in Los Angeles. I was like, girl, because she's a little bitty thing. And that's what she wanted to do was be on the streets. I think when she got there, she was like, I'm good. She didn't like it. So I'm just hoping and praying that the same thing go for my daughter. <laughs>
Because she's a people person. She likes people. She's a sweetie. Sometimes. You know what I mean? These teenagers. Alright, come on, fire. Kick it up a notch. While I'm doing that, let me let this water boil. Because um, I can put that spaghetti on. Have that cooking. This one cooks really fast, sometimes too fast. I don't like to do too much on that one. Unless I'm boiling. Got that. I'm gonna get me a strainer for the spaghettis. Just a second. Not too far away. The strainer may be over here. I'll get the other strainer. I wish I had where I could just do all kind of things, move around and the camera follow me, you know what I mean? But I can't do that because <laughs> I don't have it that like that. So this is what we got for now. I guess I can hold it up a little bit while this meat brown. You know, my daughter was telling me because at first I was gonna go ahead and cook the meat and everything. And I'm always trying to get her in the kitchen because I don't want her to be out there when she do decide to move out and not know how to do nothing. I did the same thing with my boys. I taught them everything. How to clean, how to do laundry, they know how to wash dishes, clean up the house, whatever, uh, cook. I used to have them pick what they wanted to learn how to cook. And I'd get them in the kitchen and we'd get it done. They'd make some mistakes, but we'd fix it and keep it going. Yes. So, that's why I did that. Add a little more seasoning, but we're gonna wait and get all the other stuff in it before we add anything else. I kicked everybody out. My granddaughter, well, I didn't kick them out, but they all upstairs. Right there, so you guys can see it all cook up. The water not boiling yet, no surprise. It's getting there.
And I got the extra lean meat, so I don't have all that grease on it, you know? But you know, I always leave a little bit in it when I, well, whenever I have that meat. Sometimes I just have it. Um, and I got this one on sale, so I got a good deal here. But um, usually when you use the other ground beef, the cheaper ground beef, it's not so lean, kind of greasy. I would drain it, but I would leave just a little for taste. You know, it gives it a good taste. I know it's a little grease, but a little bit ain't going to hurt you. Looks like this is pretty much good. Don't have no fat in there, so that's good. Grease and fatness. That's awesome. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna get a fork so I can try it. to try it. Yum. We need a little seasoner. We use a little more seasoning. Actually a lot more. Stand back when I do this pepper this time. Give me my nose. All right. Let's just mix that up in there. You know. I know some people like to put sugar in their spaghetti. I've never tried that. Myself. But I don't know if I'd like sweet spaghetti. Oh, y'all, yeah, I got some garlic bread too. I've got to put the garlic bread on. Yes. I don't take but a minute. I'm going to rinse my fork so I can try it again. Mm. Oh, that's better. Uh, uh, uh. That did the trick. Mm-mm. 
Mm-mm. That's all I needed. All right. So now that the meat's all done, I left some meat on there. I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato sauce. put four cans at least that's what I'm gonna start with I don't like my spaghetti to be too dry that's just me some people might not mind it but I like mine to be juicy and this is the fourth can I'm gonna put these nice tomatoes I think I'm gonna drain these cuz I don't know about this juice with this Cans of the diced tomatoes. All right, it's still got a little juice in it, but that's okay. A little ain't gonna hurt. All right, now let's get this going. This is all I do for my sauce. You know, if you want different things, you can always add that. Simple is good for me. Um, you can put bell peppers. Um, I put, I did put mushroom. You can put bigger mushrooms, however you want to do it to your liking. Um, like again simple is so good to me I mean this is a cheap way to do it and it's good stewed tomatoes is a that's a little extra but even without the stewed tomatoes some people don't like tomatoes like that so um, you don't have to put those in I just wanted to add a little tomato I like tomatoes Again, I could eat those stewed tomatoes and noodles by itself with no meat. And that is so good to me. Put some butter with it. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy to my tummy. So we're going to let this sauce cook up a little bit. See how it tastes. See if we need to add anything to it. And of course you want to taste it as you add. Because sometimes the seasonings soak up. You don't taste them or it's not there. You need a, little, need a little more. So, yes, this is looking yummy. I woke up this morning singing. And Lord knows I'm not the one to be singing. But I don't think Lord knows that. He says, sing with a joyful noise make a joyful noise and my noise is joyful <laughs> at least i think so <laughs> yes because i can't sing i'm not really a good singer at all whatsoever and i'm reminded all the time so i'm gonna go ahead and try this again let me rinse my spoon Let's 
You need to cook a little bit. It can use a little more seasoning though. I really don't taste anything. Now my nose is a little runny with that pepper. This is all I use for spaghetti. I don't want to kill the other taste. Garlic, seasoning salt, and pepper. And again, those of you who want to use different stuff, help yourself. Because I have made spaghetti with different seasonings, different things in it. But I wanted to show you guys a quick, easy, inexpensive way to make it. me I'm wanting to let it cook because you know when you use canned stuff to me it needs to you know um, cook a little bit because sometimes it could taste like canned but this is all it needs just a little cook a little seasoning it's good my spaghetti Water is just about ready. I'll go ahead and put that in. Oh, that spaghetti looking good. I must say so myself. It's looking good. Alright. Those will go in the trash in just a moment. Get these out. Okay, y'all. I don't know about you guys. But some people break their spaghetti and some people just put them in home. And that's what I'm about to do. So y'all let me know what you like. Spaghetti whole or broken? I like it because you can see when they start going down and all of a sudden they start turning. That's it. Alright, I'm going to throw these cans away. My spoon. Try it again. I'll put a little more seasoning in it. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. That is good, you guys. It's good. This is mainly it, you know. Um, the spaghetti cooking, and this is the reason why I did this on camera because, like my daughter said, no, mom, you want to do it and show people because there are people who are out there who don't know how to make spaghetti. And now I get it. I get it. Because, like, with her, I said, okay, you'll never not know how to make spaghetti. You'll have a video now, even though she's made it with me. Um, even frying chicken. I want to do that, too, because some people don't. You know what I really want to do is cut a whole chicken, put it on, because some people don't know how to do that. And it's cheap to do. To get a whole chicken, cut it up yourself, and fry it or bake it, however you want to do it. But that's something I want to show everybody how to do.
because everybody don't know how to do that. And, and, and you know, these young mothers coming up. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, soldier. Going crazy. See what I mean about this burning right here? It goes. And sometimes you do need to do that. If I remember, I do. Sometimes I don't. And it and it, as long as you're keeping it separated, you'll be fine. Stir it up a little bit as it goes. Of course, those not done yet. I'm just going to turn this down low. What we're going to do is wait for that. I'm going to get the bread, garlic bread, out. I got some um, already spread garlic bread. So all I have to do is put it in the oven. And I'm not going to do too many of those because my daughter, in some kind of way, like me, like to have it fresh. So I'll just make a few for me and my husband. Let me get a pen. turn it down because it's so, I don't know why, but that side gets a little crazy. Not much longer for you. I'm gonna turn this down. It's, it's pretty good. Way down. It's just gonna be on simmer. Boy, that looks good. What you guys think? That looks really good. Let me get a butter knife. Spread on here. Look 
spread on both sides. I like that, but I'm only going to put it on one. Sorry, got it on this, but I'm always extra. Calm down, it's fire. I'm going to do a boil on here too, the whole process, and um, that's, for me, when I do a boil, it's pretty much steamed, because I like the way it tastes when it's steamed and boiled, unless you do it in a bag. You can see it, can you? Yeah. Well, I'm bring it closer for you to see. This is my pot I use for seafood. And inside of it, they usually use this for tamales. And um, that's what my husband has it for tamales. Um, inside here, there's a wrap. And you put the, the water down, season and all down there. And then you put the seafood on top. So. It's a big pot. It doesn't matter how much I got, that's what I use. Because I like the way it tastes with um, being steamed. Because when it's boiled, it kind of boils out the taste. And some people do it. Some people like it. Sure. It's up to you. I'm going to turn this down because I think these should be about done. You know, my dad was showing me how to make spaghettis and know when they're done. And he told me, take one out and throw it up against the wall. And if it's thick, it's done. And my dad is a total meat freak. So, it ain't about leaving no spaghetti on the wall. <laughs> he is very, 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 he's like a well, my dad was a fireman. Matter of fact, he was the first black fireman. And I want to shout him out because he was. And this is Black History Month. And we need to recognize our black people. On top of that, he's my dad. He was the first black fireman in Mid Valley, Fresno, California. Why are you playing? And... He was a fireman for 35 years, I believe, 35, 34, something like that, right in there. And, um, yeah, he told me how to know when it's ready. So, my oven is ready for this toast. Ooh, yeah, there Y'all don't let me forget about the toast. I'm not going to. So anyway, he would tell, he told me, just take it, throw it up against the wall, and if it sticks, 
And of course, he's like, and clean that mess off. <laughs> yeah, my dad was really, he's really, really, I had it real bad because my mom and dad were both neat freaks. My mom was OCD. My dad won't admit it, but so is he. He will not admit it. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I ain't got no wall really to do it on. Let's see. I'm going to let y'all see this if you can. I'll do it over here to this wall. Can you guys see that wall? Yeah. I'm going to throw it. It's stuck. Can you see it? <laughs> that means it's done. Yes. And I can normally look at it and tell. That's what he how he showed me to tell. It's done. Now let me wipe that mess off. Give me just a second, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all my little trick. That's a good little trick too. Try it. Just make sure you clean up your mess. You don't want no bugs or nothing coming trying to eat the little juice off. Okay. All right. Now I think these spaghettis is ready. Let me go ahead and drain them. I got my drainer in the sink. I'll be right back. I wish I could show y'all every little step, me draining and all that, but one of these days. Okay, so I did leave them in the strainer. I, I use this strainer. I run them in water after I strain it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. I might have a little bit. Okay. Looking at all this meat and my spaghetti, that was a whole pack though. Go ahead and check my toes. They're still good. Now, we're going to go ahead and transfer the meat over into the pot. Okay? Here we go. What I should do, switch sides. This one goes. Because, oh, I made a mess. Hold on a second, guys. Let me get some. Built. Let's do. Get that off. Start mixing that together with the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. 
This is due on. And I'm trying to clean. Red. Eh, a little bit more. I can smell it. Up real good. Mix this up. Can you guys see that? Not really. There, you can see it now, right? It's still a lot of spaghetti. I don't like wasting food. Do not. This is pretty good. It's got pretty good spaghetti, pretty good meat. So now I'm gonna get me a fork and check it out. Meat and spaghetti, so I'll do it like this. A little tomato. Okay. Let me turn the stove off. Oven. It's good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Perfect seasoning. Everything. So again, everybody, 
when you um make your spaghetti, put what you like in it. And if you need more sauce, some people do, some people don't. I like this perfect. It's perfect for me. Um, if you like it soupier, put more tomato sauce in it. If you want more vegetables, add more vegetables. Um, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to fix my husband a plate. And we're going to get it in. We're going to get it in. So, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by um, on this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, um, and enjoy what you eat. Love what you eat. Well, I'm signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.